Okay, so check this out. This is my Laterula, and um, I want to show you a prime example of a fig tree that needs to be upotted. Uh, in this case, this thing is in a, so this is in a three gallon, maybe a little bit bigger than three gallon, but um, look at the growth on this tree. And I'll show you in comparison to what the growth is uh, on another tree um, by the end of June. So this thing has pushed out maybe about mm, two or three inches of growth by June or the end of June when realistically on another tree, uh, you know, I've already got like about, I don't know, anywhere from 18 to 24 inches. So what that tells me is that this thing needs to be up potted or needs to be root proof. Okay. It's a little bit rainy today, but it's also a nice weekend to do some maintenance on the yard. Um, I've got a couple trees here that I'm trying to root prune, my Black Madeira and my Smith, because they're overdue for that. Um, if you take a look, I'll show you the, I've already done the Smith, I'll show you what I'm gonna do to the, uh, the Black Madeira. It's in a, I believe a 20 gallon, and um, I pruned it back drastically because, you know, they take well to pruning and black manaras only grow on new, new wood. So you don't want, you know, a whole bunch of like uh, old wood on the tree. It's no use. Anyhow, I'm going to show you what we're doing here. I'm breathing heavy because, man, it's a lot of work. Okay, so here's my black madera. Um, you can see here. A 20 gallon pot pretty big pot of ours I've also already loosened up the sides of the pot <clears throat> all right you can see up close how dense the root system is growing from top to bottom this thing is getting kind of root bound so it's uh affecting its growth this is the perfect time to root prune I'm gonna actually just use a shovel chop off about I don't know half of that or so and then uh, loosen up the rest All right, so I got about a third off, and uh, all I'm gonna do is just kind of break the roots here, tease it, you know, just a little bit. Problem when it gets so root bound like this is that there's no more room for soil and nutrient uptake. And all it's doing is just suffocating itself with the roots. Now, if it was in the ground, that's a different story. But because we're growing it in a pot, it needs to reinvigorate and uh, push out some new feeder roots so we can do a better job at uptaking nutrients. Thick knot roots over here. I'm doing this beginning of March. The plant is technically still dormant, and so it's not going to hurt it too much. It's actually just going to make it flush out some really good new growth. All right, I'm going to finish this off. What I'm going to do 
It's also sprinkle mycorrhiza towards the bottom of this and then help it out even more. Okay, I got Nature's Solution Mycorrhiza. And uh, I'm just going to take some a spoonful here. Just going to sprinkle it all over the roots. That should be plenty. Should be plenty. All right. Got a little soil back in there. Slow release fertilizer. This thing has been pruned. Goes right back into there. I've also added a uh, little steer grow at the bottom to help with some new growth. And I'm just gonna top it off with some of the soil that I dumped from it. Just to fill in the seams, you know. Keep it nice and tight. Yeah, there it is. One black madera that's been root pruned. One smith that has been root pruned. And uh, batted fertilizer in there as well. So these guys should push out a flush of new growth. And uh, I'm excited to see what happens. All right, guys, so if you have a tree that's in a pot, three or four years old, take a look at the roots to see whether or not it's been root bound or just really knotted up. If it is, you can definitely do this to re reinvigorate the plant, help it uh, push out some new growth. Thanks, you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Okay, so check this out. This is my uh, black madeira that I kind of hacked back and did the root pruning on. And you can see the amount of growth that's coming out of these stems. Um, there's a good about, I don't know, 12 to 14 inches that it's grown. Um, and we're only into June. So last year, I think, because I didn't root prune it then, um, it probably grew four to six inches the whole season. So you can see the effects here of root pruning and then just kind of, you know, letting the roots breathe a little bit by having more soil than uh, roots to contend with. And um, I, I expect this thing to put on another probably foot, foot and a half, maybe two before the uh, season is over. So um, if you haven't done so already, you know, and you see that there's kind of stagnant growth on uh, some of your fig trees, then definitely think about root pruning in the uh, in the in the winter time. It will help the plant um, become more vigorous and uh, help it grow better for the next year. All right, guys, thanks for watching. As always, I appreciate your time. Uh, you know, by subscribing, you're telling me that I need to make more videos. So. Thanks again. Bye-bye.